Steve Hartman has been revisiting some of the people that Charles Geralt met when he brought us on the road. Tonight, Steve catches up with an unusual rancher who doesn't raise cattle, he raises Cadillacs. Tourists have been flocking to this wheat field pretty much every day since Keralt's original story. Yes, I remember seeing the original story. Oh my God, I give my age away. <laughs> it was 37 years ago, and it was that memorable. We were just coming over this little rise on Route 66 west of Amarillo, and I said, will you look over there? That looks for all the world like 10 Cadillacs nose down in a wheat field. That's how we met Stanley Marsh III. Stanley was, and still is, the owner of this spectacle, which has come to be known as Cadillac Ranch. Stanley has a few years on him, and his cars have a few layers of graffiti. But for the reporter who must interview Stanley, one thing hasn't changed a bit. When people say to you, what are those Cadillacs doing out there in your wheat field, what do you answer? I tell them whatever strikes my fancy. Well, it's still hard to get a straight answer about these crooked cars. And any reason why they're tilted? Uh-huh. That's the angle of the Great Pyramid of Gaines. You're and making that up. They be? You're making this up. I am not. Yes, you are. Yes, I am. For Stanley, <laughs> keeping the mystery is much of the joy. He told these people pancakes told him to build it. You know, pancakes talk if you pay attention to their sizzle. He's That's never really given a good reason why, other than why not? It's art. Art which has since inspired some equally baffling imitators. Today, America's roadsides are up to their shoulders in vehicles buried up to their belts. How could you not love this? The absolute weirdest one is in Alliance, Nebraska. It looks like Stonehenge. It looks like Stonehenge, and it's supposed to look like Stonehenge. It's even called Carhenge. I think there's 38 cars. Built by a Cadillac Ranch admirer, Carhenge is owned by the people of Alliance although they're now trying to sell it for nearly a quarter of a million dollars. Is there $10,000 in the trunk of each car? I know, but where else are you going to buy a tourist attraction for that? Not in Amarillo, that's for sure. I've never made a penny from the Cadillac Ranch. Stanley is a purist. In fact, once when a Cadillac dealer tried to build near his ranch, Stanley dug up the cars and moved them a mile down the road. Stanley says you don't plant cars for profit. So why do you? That's a secret he'll take to his auto graveyard. Steve Hartman on the road in Amarillo, Texas. <laughs> and some full disclosure here. Stanley Marsh and I actually went to TCU together. I'm glad to know he is still moving down the road.